grand total is Today I have some very exciting news because obviously you can tell from the title above that I just adopted a kitten. He is so so cute. He is a white and orange tabby and um, I will insert you know some sort of footage here. <laughs> with you all like what I bought to prepare for his arrival and approximately how much it costed me to buy all of these things so hopefully it'll help all of you out there who are considering adopting a kitten so you will have an idea of what to get to prepare for it and kind of a budget for yourself I'll link everything that I bought down below in the description box and feel free to comment down below if you have any questions or also want to share like what you got when you also were preparing for your kitten so first thing I actually bought was this water fountain and this water fountain was $27.99. Now it's not absolutely necessary but a lot of cats actually prefer to drink from running water so that is why I got it and our kitty actually really really loves it so I highly recommend it. Along the lines of drinking and eating, I actually also got these two plates from Amazon and they were about $13 and I got two because one for the food bowl and then one extra water bowl that is not from a uh, running water. The next thing I got, which is quite important, is actually the carrier. The carrier that I got is approximately $23.99 and this is just a really fabulous carrier that my cat really loves. Um, it has like the sheep lining uh, inside and I love that it's not like a hard case. It's TSA friendly. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this one. Something that is not necessary for you to have, but I just decided to get was a playpen. The playpen was approximately $39.99. And this playpen, um, I actually had in mind to get it because I wanted it to be able to contain the kitten during like the first night, but also have him close to us when we are sleeping. Um, turns out this was actually not like the best idea. We probably should have just left him in the bathroom. Um, because kittens usually like to start off in a very small space and we put him in the bathroom to begin with so um, I feel like he got a little scared being put into the playpen though he still enjoys and loves it now but it's not absolutely necessary for you to get this at all now on to the fun stuff let's talk about poop <laughs> um, so I'm talking about litter and litter box so I did a lot of research on litter boxes, um, but the thing is we are probably going to be getting a automatic cleaning litter box um, later down the line, probably next month or so. So for now, we have resorted to these decompostable, disposable litter boxes. So every single month, you just throw them out. Um, so I got a set of three, and currently that is what my cat uses and what is most comfortable for him. So I didn't want to get like this gigantic automatic cleaning litter box for him once he moves to a new surrounding, just in case it kind of frightens the cat. Um, we want to keep things as minimal and like close to his original environment as much as possible. So definitely ask the shelter or the foster parents like what they're currently using so that the kitten takes or has some time to adapt to their new surrounding. Um, the next thing that I obviously got was the litter. So the litter that I got, um, let's see here, is $21.99 for 26 pounds. So not that expensive. Um, the one that I got is right here natural litter um, and that is what he was using at his foster parents house and he really enjoys it and I like that it's natural and then finally of course to clean your cat's poop you're going to need a little little a little litter <laughs> a little litter scooper and that was just about one dollar Next thing I got, which now also is not very necessary for you to get, um, was a little cat's bed. Um, this one was about $24.99, $24.99, <laughs> and 
he doesn't really sleep in it to be honest um he sleeps on the floor he sleeps like on top of a chair you know he he kind of sleeps everywhere uh he slept in this little uh pet bed that I got him only for like a couple seconds. I'm sure he'll adapt to it, but this is absolutely not necessary for you to get when you get the kid at all. I also prepared a brush, which was $12.99. Um, I hear that brushing the cat is very good for the cats, obviously, and distributing like their oils and it feels good for them. Um, we use it here and there, but it's not absolutely necessary. Um, I guess it just also depends on the type of cat that you have. For me, Toasty is a domestic short hair cat, so he doesn't have really long hair anyway. So it's not absolutely necessary for me to like comb out tangles or anything like that for him, but it's just good to have. So for food, I got him a mixture of dry food and also wet food. So for the dry food, I got two sets of six canned foods and each one was about $7.85. The brand that I got was Blue Buffalo because I hear that Blue Buffalo is one of like the higher quality brands. I hear that um, Fancy Feast is kind of like the McDonald's for kittens. So especially when they're so small and they need to be you know, eating lots of nutrients and growing. Um, I just don't want to feed him McDonald's so that's why I bought Blue Buffalo and I also bought the same brand um, but they're dry kitten food and the one um, that I got is right here and it is five pounds for $21.99 I bought these off of Chewy.com by the way because most of the time when you actually adopt your kitten the shelter usually will give you some sort of a discount code i forget i think mine was like five dollars off my order over like maybe 35 dollars or something like that so it's really nice to wait for the that like code to then order your food and then for toys i bought about five toys for a total of about seven dollars toys are super cheap for kittens and i would say that you definitely want to at least prepare a few toys for them because it helps them adjust to their new environment a lot quicker um and you know if they are wanting to tear up the house and you know get into like your boxes and things like that um playing them Playing with them uh, with these toys helps distract them and makes them like learn like what actually is a toy and what should be chewed and what should not be chewed. And of course, playing with your kids is just really important to you know teach them as they grow and develop, um, and also just create that bond quickly between you and your new fur baby. Another thing that I got uh, that is under the toy section was a scratching post. So the scratching post was about. $44.99 and I got this scratching post that was um, not too tall but not too short so just enough for a kitten and I also made sure that it was like heavy enough because I read some reviews for the cheaper scratching posts and it seemed like they were a little bit light so when the cat was like playing with it then it would they would just knock it over and that sort of thing so this one I'm very very happy with that it was a little bit more expensive but I think it's totally an investment as your kitten grows up um, and you'd rather he or she scratch, you know, the scratching post um, rather than you or, you know, your sofas, things like that. So highly recommend this. And again, I can't stress enough, like how important I think actually like toys are for, um, kittens and cats in general. So that's everything that I got. And the grand total is. $263.19. Yep, that was the total for all of the things that I bought, not including the adoption fee. So for me, it was $150 and I donated an extra $25 just because I wanted to. Um, but obviously this cost varies depending on where you live, which shelter you go to, that sort of thing. But for me, $150 is totally reasonable because it's much cheaper than purchasing a puppy or a dog. And also $150 includes all of the up-to-date vaccinations for your cats and also ensures that your cat has been microchipped, you know, in case they get lost. And also it means they are, you know, 
vaccinated, dewormed, defleed, and the vet has just ensured that this cat is healthy before he's listed for adoption he or she <laughs> so anyway i hope this helped please comment down below if you have other things that you would recommend to purchase but for me this is everything that worked um for when i was trying to prep for my kitten and you know right now he is very very happy and comfortable in his new home so hopefully i can share him with you all very soon but if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll catch you later and I hope you all stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy. Bye!